Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Q&A video. My name is Saints Fan, and today, of course, we're talking the next DLC. But because we finally got some new information regarding it, this is going to be an updated Q&A on the next DLC, which, if you haven't been paying attention, is looking like it's going to be a Casino Heist DLC. I've made a couple of videos over the last couple of days. If you want to check those out, if you haven't, follow it along. But that's where we're at yes this started as a cops and crooks dlc that we all thought was coming and apparently now it's gonna be a casino heist dlc which actually makes a lot more sense when you think about it just because there's already a casino they already have like the the infrastructure for heists so if they wanted if rockstar wanted to make somewhat of a simpler dlc for them like an easier dlc for them casino heist makes a bunch of sense Plus, with the way the story in the casino kind of left, you, you kind of thought there'd be something else or, or something maybe in the future. And looks like we might be getting that. So we have a bunch of questions from you guys on Twitter regarding this. Let's get into them. The first one from Infinite Roads, Casino Heist. After all the speculations you've seen so far, is it likely this will be the next DLC? So, like I said, I, look, nothing until Rockstar says it is confirmed. But yes, the Casino Heist DLC, according to what they're finding in the game fo files, it, it seems like that's what we're leaning towards. At least some sort of heist. I think the casino part, it's questionable if it is going to be a casino heist or not. But yeah, the uh, heist is looking uh, more likely than ever. MWJ. <laughs> this is not really a casino related question, but when is snow coming to GTA Online? So snow normally comes like a week or maybe a couple of days before Christmas. So if we take a look in December, it looks like Christmas is on a Wednesday. Snow might come like the 24th and then last a couple of days. So yeah, I guess that's when you should be expecting snow. Although it doesn't really ever last too long, which is unfortunate. We have Jay with the next question. Remember before the casino came out, Lester had a recording about the casino being open. Do you think this leads to a casino DLC? Uh, bud, you're a little late there. <laughs> uh... Moving along, Robert, do you think that the casino heist will function like the doomsday heist or regular heist or even something completely new? Now this, this might actually be the question. I'm going to make this the question of the day because this is what's so interesting about a casino heist. Like if we look into it, dig into it a little deeper, how is it going to work? And that's the question. I still have no idea. I've seen some pretty good explanations of how it could work. I just, I still don't know how it's going to happen. Because we own the casino or like we're in business with the casino. I don't think we actually own them, but whatever. You know what I mean? Like we, we've paid money. We're a part of it. So why would we be heisting the own, our own casino? I, I just, I'm still so confused. But uh, I guess going back to the question, will it work more like the doomsday or the regular heists? I think it'll be more along the lines of the doomsday just because Rockstar, they want to tweak upon those heists. And they said, the head like developer guy said in an interview like a week or two ago, or maybe a month ago, that they want, they know they can improve upon those heists. So I feel like it's going to be more the lines of that. And, and what I mean by that is it's going to be more like free roam stuff, just like the setup missions and or, or all the little, the little missions you had to do before the setup missions, I think. Granted, in the Doomsday Heist, you could just pay and like get them all done. But I think they're going to expand on on that. And this is backed up with the lines of code that they're finding in the game files that there's going to be some uh, changes to free roam. So it looks like people that are going to be doing the heists in free roam aren't going to be able to be griefed, basically. Like, they'll, they'll be, I guess, maybe in passive mode. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. But I think it is going to be more along the lines of Doomsday where you have... You know a bunch of these maybe like little mini setup things in free roam and then and maybe even like the actual heist part will be in free roam which is definitely not like the uh the regular heist or even the doomsday so that that's definitely what i'm thinking i, I think it's going to be more along the lines of you just do it in in the lobby rather than going into a separate lobby inviting people because we all know that never seems to work people always get kicked and it never ends up loading so if they do it in free roam, where things are relatively stable, that just makes a lot more sense. C4 uh, forever. How much money do you think we need for the next DLC? Now, obviously, I've answered this question before, but that was thinking the next DLC would be a cops and crooks mode. And, you know, in a theoretical cops and crooks mode, 
you would have had to probably buy some new property and all this other stuff. So it would have cost a lot more. Now with a heist or a couple of heists, I feel like you don't need as much money because you're not really buying stuff. Like obviously there's gonna be a ton of vehicles and stuff and hell, they may even go back to doing a bunch of weaponized vehicles because it's heists. And with the Doomsday heist, we had a bunch of weaponized vehicles. So, you know, maybe there ends up being a bunch of like three, four, five, six million dollar vehicles and that adds the price or increases the price. But I think as far as just like getting started, if it is a casino heist, what more could they make us buy? We already have the casino. So, you know, I don't think there'll be a new property or anything. So I would expect maybe like, honestly, to get started at least only like five to maybe 10 million if you want to be on the safe side. I really don't think you're going to need to be spending a ton of money because if you just look back at the doomsday heist, if you took out the property, like the facility, you really didn't need to spend a lot of money. Yes, the vehicles were expensive, but you didn't need to necessarily buy those vehicles. So I don't know. I, I would say it's not going to be crazy. We have Dakota. Do you think the next DLC or in the new DLC, there'll be new things to do in free roam? So I've been seeing a lot of people wonder like what's going to happen with free roam. I don't think, I don't know. It, it's looking like there's not going to be obviously like new business stuff. It's just potentially going to be the heist content in free roam. So no, I don't think we're going to get like a whole bunch of stuff in free roam. And that kind of ties on the next question from Isaiah. Do you think there will be any new weapons or businesses in the new, in the DLC? I, as far as weapons go, they, I mean, probably, but then again, I'm not entirely sure because they seem to not want to add weapons unless they're like crazy weaponized weapons, which makes no sense. You know what I mean? Like the laser weapons and stuff where they could sell them for 500 K. But there are some weapons that have been cut and that have never made it to GTA line. So maybe they finally add those. Like the, I think the scar was one of them. The XM 25, I think it's called the grenade launcher. Uh, I think, well, there's the rail gun, obviously from single player. It's not an online. So there's a couple of weapons they could throw in, but I don't know if, if weapons are necessarily like on their to-do list on or up high on their to-do list. As for uh, the business part, like I was just sort of mentioning, it seems like maybe what's happening here, at least internally, and this is just speculation on my part. We obviously have GTA Online and then Rockstar have Red Dead Online, and they seem to be wanting to push Red Dead Online a lot because they probably like it. It's new, obviously. It's refreshing for them to, to be working on. And there is going to be a Red Dead Online DLC coming out in December as well. So I think what ended up happening behind the scenes is Rockstar, they, they focused a lot more on the Red Dead Online DLC rather than the GTA Online DLC. And that's why this GTA Online DLC might be a casino heist because that was something, you know, relatively easy for them to do and it didn't maybe take them a lot of time. And I guess with saying that, it's... I don't, it is hard just to go off of speculation, but it kind of feels to me that this upcoming GTA DLC, while it might be great, it just might not be huge. It might not be the big DLC like we come to expect from uh, these December DLCs. Like again, I think the story might be fantastic and I'm sure if it's a new heist, that'll be fun because heists are always fun, but it just, it might not be as big. And because of that, I, yeah, I don't think we are going to get any new business opportunities. It might just be like, you know, the one, two or three heists from or, or for the casino. And that actually goes with this final question from Custom Mike. Do you think the December DLC will have more heists along the casino heist or will it just be one? Now, we keep saying the casino heist DLC. And I think maybe a lot of people think that only means one heist, but that's not necessarily the case because the Doomsday Heist DLC sounds like it was just one heist, but in reality, it was three with a bunch of different mission, like little minor missions before it. So there was quite a bit of content in that, in that DLC, right? With this Casino Heist DLC, if that actually turns out to be the case, they could do something similar. Now, again, what could that be? I have no idea. Because why, again, are we heisting the freaking place we live in? You know what I mean? Unless it's like the opposite of a heist, which I've seen some people suggest. I think I maybe even suggested that like a, a while ago where maybe Vincent comes back and is the bad guy, even though everyone loved him. And he's trying to heist and we have to stop him, which I don't know how that would work gameplay wise. 
but there could definitely be some layers to it. You know, maybe maybe the first heist is going to the casino, but then that expands to some other stuff. I, you know, look, I'm not going to speculate too much on the contents of what a casino heist DLC could be because I just feel like that's not really worth it. But no, I wouldn't maybe just be expecting one heist. I think it would be more along the lines of the Doomsday heist where you have, you know, part one, part two, and then part three. But of course, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. That is going to do it for this video. Please drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Online content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.